Shabbat Shalom. Happy Sabbath. Okay, family, check it out. I know the as is 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 probably interrupting on the knowledge <laughs> and the wisdom of the uh the parable of the video too insecure to ask God for favor. Let me let me break it down clearer for y'all understand because it has to take wisdom to understand that video, to be honest. Okay, look. I've I've received I've received the enlightened wisdom on why people do what they do, the enemies, uh those who are not called but yet envy us. The reason why people envy us when they see us, they looking, staring, laughing, smear campaigning uh well, we said we're not going to use the word gang stalking no more because it's not in the Bible. But, yes, the stalking. And all the negative things, the gossiping and, and the, the narc uh, bully who uh, create flying monkeys to turn against us and all that because they can't get their way with us. And it's all because of envy, basically. It's jealousy, envy, all that. Now, the comparison, the parable what I did with the guy and the girl and her boyfriend is just like why they uh, uh, are jealous of us. It's a comparison with that. Now, let me just explain it again more clearer because I was getting a little stuck at the beginning, but God lifted up and boom, gave me the wisdom to speak it. Now, just like the guy who assumed that he was going to be with the girl. All in his mind, he probably thought they was actually dating. But he never specifically went to her and asked her for her number. Can we go out? Never asked. But in his head, just assumed that they were dating or they were going to date. Why? Because he... His heart was hardened to the point where he just felt like, you know, hey, I ain't got to ask. It is what it is. She's smiling at me. It's done. I'm all that. So we official, or I just know I'm going to snatch her because she waving. She nice to me. She speak, and I'm speaking bad. So I know I'm going going on to handle that. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got to ask. It is what it is. Now, this is how some people think, men or women. Boys or girls. And he, you know, he just didn't want to submit to it. He didn't want to ask. So he just assumed that it was official. Okay, well, that just saved me some time for even asking. So that's on him. That's all in his head. Now, pause. That part right there is a comparison, a comparison to people who think that God already favored them. You got those out there who always say, quote, God still love me. I don't care. Yeah, he, he still love me. I can do what I do. He still love us. You got people that do that. But you have to understand you're not favored by God if you have not repent. Yes, God have mercy on people when he choose to 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 save you and you still got to repent because once he snatch you, you're going to have to go through some convictions and you're going to be condemned. There is no way, no way that you're going to be on the side of this world, not serving Satan. You're not going to be serving no kingdom of God if you have not repent. Repenting is the number one thing that you must do. If you can't repent, then how you going to believe in Christ? Huh? You can't believe in Christ first and then say, okay, yeah, 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 yeah I'm going on to repent. No, you must repent first. Meaning that you want God to forgive you and you are sorry about all the things that you've done opposed to God's laws. You are not willing to sin no more. Huh? That's what, you got to get that taken care of. You know? Yeah, you got to believe in, in Jesus. He died for your sin. But you have to understand something. You have to, you have to repent first. 
You have to repent. You have to ask God to excuse you for your sins. Jesus died for your sin. So you want to be excused for it by repenting. Once you repent, that means that you no longer want to commit doing those sins. You can't just say, okay, I'm, I'm favored. I'm good now. I'm saved, y'all. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm born again. And you never made a vow to God to not... To, to stop doing what you're doing, huh? No, you have, you know. See, in the Old Testament, they couldn't repent because the Holy Spirit wasn't there. Jesus wasn't there to die for their sins. So they had to work their vows. It's just like they had to just write, every time they, every time they work or go to school, they had to write 500 times on a piece of paper, I won't cuss no more. I won't cuss no more. I won't cuss no more. That was just a reminder to let them know that they can't do that. And when they turn that paper in, that's it. That's their punishment right there. So they just got to write that 50 times and boom, they can go back out there and play. But since they didn't have the Holy Spirit in them, they wasn't, it wasn't in their heart to stop. I won't cuss no more. 500 times. I won't cuss no more. They just did that because they just had to work it. But it wasn't in their heart to stop cussing. 500 times, 500 times that they had to write on that piece of paper. But today, hallelujah, we have the Holy Spirit, so we have to repent. Meaning that we have to make that vow saying we're not doing these things no more. And once God know that we are truly repentful and he know our heart, then, hallelujah, we're saved. So not to get off the subject, but the comparison is since the boy assumed that and his man, because he thought he was all late and because of his insecurities, I don't want to feel like a punk or I'm soft by asking the girl to go out with me and can I get her number? Can we go on a date? He just assumed that it was what it was, but it wasn't. So she did her thing. And it ain't like she wanted to be or didn't want to be with They just never had that communication. So she went on do. she got her boyfriend. They could be friends and be cool, ha ha he, he like they was, but he wanted more, but he just didn't have the courage to ask her. Now, when she moved on with her guy, guess what happens? He flip on her, huh? Just like when we talk to these people, they flip on us, meaning acting wishy washy, huh? You be like, okay, why are you acting funny to me? I ain't did nothing to you. Why are you turning on me? Why are you talking about me? Why are you doing all these things? I've done nothing wrong to you, Shirley. Pookie. Ray Ray. Huh? And that's how she feel. Why are you jealous? Why are you attacking my boyfriend? What's going on? Because he is jealous of the assumption that he thought he was going to be with her. And so he's mad. And he's attacking her for, for doing her. And he's attacking a boyfriend because it's him who she chose to be with. And both of them are like, uh, I thought, we, well, one of the girl, like, I thought we was cool. You know, how you just going to have that courage to just attack me like that? See, now, this just goes with the comparison on how... The enemies are who laugh at us, our co-workers, our relatives, people who we don't know. This is how they feel when we come around. They assume, hallelujah, even though they didn't repent, that they're favored by God. The, the untrue saying, I'm saved, I'm born again, which is a laugh in the pits of hell. And so when they come around the truth and they see that glow that God has put on those who are truly saved, those who are truly favored because they repent and they believe in Yeshua HaMashiach dying for their sins. And they made a vow to God Almighty that they were not going to sin the way they used to and that they were going to make a vow that to to continue trying to live right for God. Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. I'm booked. I'm all that. I mercy. I mercy. But see, this is all that is. Everybody, it's a lot of videos out there. Everybody trying to explain it. And I hear them. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. But this is why they think that they are favored by God. And still living the way they live and still not having the courage to go to God. But yet, hallelujah, when they come across the real deal, then they get in their feelings and like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. That's the real deal right there. That's a that's the 
true call that one right there and they get in their feelings they get jealous they allow satan to move their emotion towards us and even though they see the glory that god has put on us they still due to their insecurities their hard and hard their stubbornness they still won't submit to God. They rather hate, they rather envy, and more than likely those will be the ones if they don't repent before Yeshua sure, sure return, they will be tossed into the lake of fire. This is if God Almighty don't choose them in time. We got to, we got to remember we do serve a, a, a mercy God, a merciful God. So he may choose some of them and turn them around. And then you have those, even when they'll put up a fight, they'll put up a fight, they'll put up a fight. And then you got those that just don't, that's just don't want it and, and they not going to submit. So that's the comparison with the guy and the girl and her boyfriend. And I really do hope even after this video that y'all gain some wisdom on why people hate us. Shalom.